Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Back the Log Off. I'm Professor Icepick and tonight I'm going to be going back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. <coughs> and we're having another three session week, so I'm just going to I'm just going to let you know off the uh off the bat here. This is going to be a filler stream. Basically, if you are only in this for the, the main story, if you do not care whatsoever about the side missions, this is not a session for you. Just feel free to skip on over to the next one whenever it goes up. I plan on recording again tomorrow, so <clears throat> there's probably not going to be that big of a gap there. So, either way, yep. So, let's get started. God, I love that opening so much. Title screen's not bad either. <clears throat> so yeah, I am taking it on my own person to officially break the... Hit you! Excuse me. Break the streak. We are not going to be doing X segments and X amount of streams anymore. This ought to perk you up. Okay, let's go to Moondoors. We'll start with Moondoor 2. Bring to me the dancer with silver locks. Only then shall the door open. Open the door? Yes. I wonder if this is actually going to involve another, like, random fight. I shall grant you a memory fragment in my blessing. Okay, I guess not. Year 1202 of the Septian Calendar. Roland. Roland. Sherazard. Sherazard! Hmm? Huh? Where am I? You feeling all right? Sure you haven't had too much to drink? Boy, that dream really brought back memories. Hard to believe I was once that young. Aw, oh, poor Olivia, he's passed out. <laughs> I see you've gotten yourself nice and plastered. You might want to watch what you're saying, though. You're still young, but no one will believe it if you start talking like that. <laughs> She's right, Shara. I, 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 I. Wow, I thought you'd be out for a while longer, Olivier. <laughs> Let me pour you another glass then. P please, mercy. You can be such a monster. Faulkner, bring Olivier another bottle over. <laughs> Unintelligible gibberish. Eh, looks like Faulkner's gone and left early again. Fine. Guess I'll have to go get the bottom bottle myself. If I'm getting out of my seat, I'm getting the strongest thing in the house. <laughs> he's shivering. I spy some brandy. Sherazad, he's literally only just gotten up. At least start him off on some fruit wine before you start bringing out the big guns. He can have both! Problem solved! Spare me! I'll die! By the way, Ina. You remember when we first met? How much did you down again? 
Down? Down what? Booze! We're talking booze, baby! Sherazad began pouring alcohol onto Olivier's head. That should go in his mouth, Sherazard. You schwa! Oh, silly me. <laughs> Glug! <laughs> God. I did always want to see their drinking adventures. Five years ago. Grand Cell. Oh, we're gonna get to see Baby Sherazard then. When she was like Estelle's age, I guess. Oh, that's not. Oh, okay. Slightly different. <sighs> Making deliveries in a city this big sure isn't easy. Okay, where's next? Ever Royal Villa? No way. I have to go all the way there? <sighs> this is why I hate cities. Uh, she's clearly going to bump into somebody. Hey, Bracer! Out on the job again? Thanks again for the help. You're a lot stronger than you look, young lady. You wouldn't have any interest in working for us, would you? You'd be more than welcome. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Really got to go, too. See ya. Oh, hey, it's Ina. Excuse me. Grand Cell City, 1197. Five years had passed since the Hundred Days' War came to an end. The scars it left were slowly healing and life was returning to Libro. People gathered in the cities and towns that had returned to their former state, and the revived Orbman trade brought the kingdom prosperity. Peace was becoming normal again. Not all that was happening in Lyrell at the time was so positive, however. There was also a period in which corrupt, corruption was rife in the military. Many of the army's officers at the time cared for nothing but lining their own pockets or gaining power and prestige. Between the development of orbital technology and booming prosperity, much was forgotten. <clears throat> much was forgotten. Hmm? Is there no one here? If you have a request, please write it on one of the forms to the right and place it in this box. Racer Guild, Grand Soul Branch. Did you think someone was going to be behind there? Looks like it. I wonder if they mind if I use their phone. Ugh, I'm pooped. I feel more like a slave than a bracer with all this menial work getting dumped on me. Oh, hello. Are you here to lodge a request? Yes, that's right. Um, might I ask your name? I'm Sherazard Harvey, a bracer. I'm still a junior one, but I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry about that. Oh my, really? <laughs> you look so young that I had no idea you were an actual bracer. My name is Ina. It's a pleasure to meet you. So what's the request you want to make? I don't have all day to stand around chatting. There's There are only two bracers at this branch right now, so we're very busy. If you can make it quick, I'd appreciate it. Oh, really? I'm terribly sorry. I had no idea you were... Did you not hear me? Or do you need me to explain to you what the word quick means? Oh, oh, my apologies. Well, you see, it's my first time visiting the city. I thought it might be wise to come here and request that someone give me a tour of the main sites and such. <laughs> the size of this place is rather daunting, as I'm sure you can imagine. But with a bracer who knows their way around at my side, I'd be able to enjoy all that Grand Cell has to offer without fearing getting lost. You've got to be kidding. Please tell me you didn't actually come here for such a worthless request. Pardon? You seem to be misconstruing what bracers are actually here for. We're not community volunteers or whatever. We have a serious profession and do serious work. And we're also very busy, as I said earlier. So I'm going to have to ask you to look elsewhere if you want a buddy for your sightseeing trip. Uh, um, I, I wasn't trying to. Or hell, just go look around on your own. Getting lost is probably part of the experience anyway. 
Has this one lived in a box all her life? Typical rich girl. Damn, Sherazade. Besides, I need to focus on doing major jobs so I can get my letter of recommendation from this branch and get promoted to senior bracer. If you find something serious you need help with, by all means, come back. Until then, get going. Uh, it looks like this isn't going to work. Um, I really am sorry for troubling you, but... Oh, hey, it's Kurt! Oh, who do we have here? Have you come to make a request, perchance? Pardon us for not properly manning the front desk. That's currently my job, but I'm undertaking other work at the same time. Oh, you don't have to apologize. I'd pay her no mind if I were you. She's a waste of time. She seems to have gotten it into her head that braces are friends for hire. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll get out of your hair now. Hmm, please don't leave just yet. Sherizard? Huh? But what is it? Do what she wants. Helping people in need is the fundamental mission of us bracers. You've got no reason not to help. What? But we're busy here. I don't have time to be playing tour guide. I've got more important things to do. Don't worry about the other requests on the board. I'll take care of those. But you're even busier than I am. You're even our receptionist on top of it. You needn't worry about me. Besides, you're still a trainee, which means you still have much to learn. So go. Once you finish this request, I'll write you your letter of recommendation. But what Really? Uh, are you sure? This seems like way too simple of a job to be awarding something like that for. I thought it was your policy to give 100% to all work you undertake. Well, it is, but... Then I'm counting on you with this job, too. Um, thank you very much. Think nothing of it. Take care, you two. Got it. I appreciate your assistance. He's like, dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. This should hopefully do her good. <clears throat> what is up with today? From delivery girl to playing tour guide for some snooty silver spoon? It just gets worse. I do apologize. I really am putting you out with this request, aren't I? Let's just get started. That aloof manner of talking she has just makes me want to smash something. So, where do you want to go? Hmm, let's see. I suppose I should go and buy a few things in the Edel department store just in case. In case? In case of what? It's in the east block of the city, don't forget. Why would I? Why would I? I can feel my blood pressure rising already. I started the shop with my friend who I go way back with, Tom. He's got the technical expertise and I've got the management expertise. Together, I'm sure we'll make this work. It's time for our Fisherman's Guild to finally establish a presence here in the capital itself. I had to sell my house to make this a reality, but no matter. All I need to do is live here in this building. Oh, that's sad. Am I okay leaving these here? These, uh, rod thingies? Did you hear the news about the masters of Valeria Lake? Apparently, they've made their way out of the lake and have made the Grand Cell area their new feeding ground. I need to get all this work here finished and go take a look. Where the hell is that bar? Bar. Okay, so that's the exit, so... Hey there! Up for some delicious candy? We've got plenty of varieties to cater to everyone's tastes. Ah, there you are. We seem to be getting a lot of customers from other countries here lately. <laughs> I suppose they must all be coming here on vacation. I certainly don't mind. It's always nice when this place is lively. It feels like people are already beginning to forget the war that we all in feels like people are already beginning to forget the war we that we all endured. It was only mere years ago that we had droves of evacuees flooding into the city, trying to get away from the fighting elsewhere. It feels like everyone's already forgotten all of that. 
Mm, let's go to the store then. Oh wait. Mixed cocktail, refreshing pie. Booyah base. Now it's giving me my map back. The sun's rays are warm, the clouds are white and fluffy, the breeze is gentle. Look, Ricky, it's like the whole world is blessing us. Hurrah, hooray for school life. By some miracle of the universe, Anton actually ended up getting accepted into Genesis. By the same miracle I did, too. I only took the exam because I had nothing better to do. I can only assume Idios is playing a prank on the two of us or something. I like how the very first thing she wants to do is blow all her money. So, what are you planning to buy? Well, I could probably do with restocking on recovering items, for one thing. What? <coughs> Please, Idios, I just want this job to end. Hmm? Hasn't Kurt read this book? Did he bring it here? All of these look really complicated, too. Uh-oh. It's some man's in black. Miss Sherizard. What? You know, there's actually a really famous ice cream stall near here. Have you ever been there? Why would I have? I don't like sweet things. Well, I do, and I feel like having some ice cream right now. Let's go get some. Wait a second! To the ice cream depository. <laughs> to the ice cream depository. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's the arena. I believe the ice cream place is on the other side of where the arena. Here we go. Here it is. Ina bought two ice cream cones from the stall. <laughs> She's like, I don't like ice cream. <laughs> Did your brain decide to selectively switch off when I said I don't like sweet things? You like this? Promise, it's really nice. That's not how it works. It's almost noon. That means I've only got 24 hours left. I'm running out of time. It might be a bit risky, but... Hey! What? What are you spacing out and ignoring me for? I was trying to ask you something. Sorry. What was it? You look angry. You're hiding something. <laughs> You're hiding something from me, aren't you? It's really obvious. So come on, out with it. Or are you involved in something you can't even talk to me about? Well, it's just that I realized I left something back at the hotel. <laughs> As if anyone would buy that. Not going to talk, huh? Well, fine. Be that way. Can we make our way back there so I can go and get it? Fine. Whatever. I'll come with you. At least until I get an idea of what you're really up to. Thank you. Well, shall we be going? Let's go through the south block. Fine. Oh, hello again. Thank you again for your purchase. Stop by here again sometime. Just takes me straight to the hotel, then. Yeah. 
But wait a second. Isn't this the hotel? The wilding... <laughs> the wilding. The building you've just walked right past? Well, yes, but... Grandsell Castle looks really heavily guarded. I should have known. Hmm, there's got to be some way to get past. Hmm. That way leads to Grandsell Castle. Do you want to go and have a look around it? Y yes, I suppose I do. But, um... Looks like I've almost cracked her. Time to talk, young lady. I want to know exactly what I've been dragged all over the city for. Ugh, this job's such a pain. I'm gonna go and catch a breather outside. Oh, shit. Th there she is! Wh what What's going on? You stay right where you are! Protect all NBCs. If an NBC's <laughs> HP reaches zero, the game is over. Well, fuck me in the ass. Why are you running towards... Oops. <laughs> okay. Level 10. <laughs> I don't like this. <sighs> what the? That guy was no amateur. Well, they haven't noticed anything happen just yet by the looks of it. It's only going to be a matter of time, though. I need to do something. Look, you! It's time to start- It's time for you to start talking. Who is this guy? I don't want the army to notice anything amiss, either. Are you listening to me? Shh. Please, be quiet. Well, at least we know she's not on the hotel's guest list. Bah. I figured a rich girl like her would have- I figured a rich girl like her would have to stay at a hotel, but I guess not. We're just gonna have to start scouring the city. From top to bottom? There she is! Get her! No, don't shout! Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, it came from over there! There she is! There's our target! The blonde! Get her! What's going on? You've got some serious explaining to do, Missy! Well, um, let's start running. The hell? W wait! Oh god, how many of these fuckers are there? Was there gonna be like an entire airship's worth of these guys? <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty entertaining. I think we lost them. <sighs> J just about. Okay, I've had enough of this. It's time for you to open that mouth of yours. Just who are these guys? Why do they want to catch you? What do you even want? Well, don't even try to warm your way out of answering. I will hurt you. With this. That, that sounds painful. <sighs> no use hiding it any longer, is there? They're trying to capture me. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I w I'm asking why they want to capture you. Go on, get talking. L let me start from the beginning. I suppose it started about a month ago. My grandfather, who I was living with, passed away. Your grandfather? That's right. He did mention that he intended to leave some of his fortune to me. But the will didn't just say some. 
He wrote that he intended to leave me everything he had. So, well... A super rich guy leaving his fortune to a young girl. Okay, everything's starting to fall into place. So now every relative you have under the sun is on you like ants trying to get their share? At the very least, I still think my uncle is a very nice man. He said he wants to look after me until I turn 20, so as part of that, you should let him look after all the money you've inherited? Ugh, unbelievable. Maybe. His eyes when he said that kind of scared me, so I ended up turning his offer down. Wait, hide! And now someone's hired the, those men to come after me. If I don't formally inherit his money, Grandfather's will becomes invalid, you see. Most likely, that's the reason they want to capture me, so I'm not able to do that. They're no ordinary street thugs, either. They clearly have some experience under their belts. I can't believe they're just able to wander the streets of the capital in broad daylight like this. Just what is the army even doing? One of my relatives has connections in the Royal Army, so that's probably why. My family's pretty influential, actually. <sighs> I'm getting a headache just listening to all of this. Hiring a bunch of suspicious, highly trained underlings to fight over an inheritance? You don't get more stereotypically spiteful rich person than that. I... I'm sorry. I'm not looking for an apology from you. <sighs> Still, this really isn't looking good. I might have been able to win the last battle, but I'm not confident I could win another. I think the best thing we can do is try to and get back to the guild house without getting caught. But I can't see that being easy. He's like, hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> Come to think of it, I forgot to feed the birds. Feed the birds? I doubt he... M I doubt it's meant to be taken literally. It's probably some kind of code they use, which means... Crap! Hmm? Sorry, this way's a dead end. You've been giving us a hell of a lot of trouble, but your luck just ran out. Ugh. Huh. You're fast, though. I'll give you that. Now grab her! Would you mind not getting... Ow. Ow. Whoa, wait a second. She just attacked that guy. Got Terror Bomb, one. Well, well, not half bad. I don't think I can fight my way out of this. Are you all right, Miss Sherazard? Have you guys still not caught her? Ha! Well, well. You almost stood a chance against us. Almost. I don't want to be beaten by a bunch of low-life scum like these guys. Do you have any ideas for getting us out of this? Me? Oh, there's an entrance to the sewers nearby. If we can get to that, we might be able to escape to the West Block. That's a huge if, though. Alright, let's go with that. Close your eyes for a second. What are you... One, two... Whoa, what are you... Three! Smoke bomb. What's that? A, a smoke grenade? <coughs> My eyes! Ha! Grah! Ready to go? Wh what? Uh, what is that? What is the smell? Is this mustard gas? W wait up! <coughs> D don't let them get away! Why do you even have that thing? What was the point of knocking that guy out too? It's locked. Get out of the way! Charizard took out a wire and jammed it into the keyhole. Come on! 
on, hurry! Wait, get back here, damn it! It's no use, it's locked! Out of the way, I'll get it open! Should I use another of those canisters? I've got pepper ones too. But pepper Do they make these things your do you make these things yourself? I've got a few original blends of my own, yes. They were originally just white smoke grenades. For example, there's this one. It contains powdered laughing mushrooms. Never tried it though. You think it works? Y you don't need to find out. It might get blown back in here. Ugh, it won't budge. Someone bring an axe. We're gonna have to smash it open. That damn bitch! Whew. It looks like we bought ourselves some time. What were you thinking? What kind of insane maniac just uses a smoke grenade or mustard gas canister or whatever it was? You shouldn't even be making that kind of stuff. I thought you were a high-class lady. Truly? But it helped us get to safety, didn't it? Well, yeah, but still. Where did you even learn to make those things? <laughs> My grandfather loved collecting books. He had his own personal library in the mansion. I learned all kinds of useful things from there. I take it you're not much of a book enthusiast yourself, so you probably wouldn't have read any of the things I have. But there's a famous spy novel I remember reading, and it has a scene in it where the protagonist makes their own smoke grenade. She learned it from a book? I take it back. Miss Rich is written all over her naive face. Look, let me make this very clear for your own good. You might have gotten us out of a dangerous situation earlier, but you got lucky. Don't expect that to happen a second time. Don't go getting cocky just because you picked up some mildly useful knowledge from a book that may or may not have even worked. I don't want to see you doing anything like that again. Are we clear? Y yes, of course. That's all. Let's get going. Being in sewers like these always brings back unpleasant memories. Uh, um, feels like my instincts are coming right back, though. Why did she suddenly go silent? Did I say something to annoy her? Let's move. When they come back, they'll get that door open in no time. But be careful, and stay close to me. There are bound to be monsters here. R right. Hmm. Alright, let's save here because yeah, we we made some significant progress so far. Ah, son of a Wait! No way! Really? Really? We, we went all the way back to FC with the battle music. <laughs> she just stands there like nothing happened. I love it. Oh, wait. Oh, say it. Ooh, okay. Cool. <laughs> cool, alright. I'm fine with this. I can live with that one. Found Tira Ball. So tell me, how effective was that expired medicine? Found Tira Ball. I'm empty now, but when I was younger, adventurers couldn't keep their hands off of me. Come on. 
And good riddance. Oh, are we done already? Let's tap missing. Thank you. Oh, are we done already? Okay, that's the way to the west, but I kind of want to find some way to... Come on! At least I leveled up again. And good riddance. <laughs> Found Zerum powder. Awesome! Let's chest bump! I'm guessing we'll need to find some way through this door to get to the west block. There should be some way to open it nearby. Let's start looking, and stick close to me. Oh my, that's kind of romantic, don't you think? Is what? In what way is anything in this situation romantic? The lever won't move. Is it not budging? Hmm. Stay quiet for a minute. I'll handle this. Sherzad removed a rock from the bottom of the device and placed her hand inside. Wow. 
You really are amazing. But not for this. That isn't... This isn't all that different from breaking into a safe, to be honest. Really, though, you shouldn't be impressed by these kinds of things. You're getting used to them. Why? There are some things in life you're just better off not knowing. And some things you're better off not being able to do. Oh, hey, a flashback within a flashback. The entire town smelled like a rotting open drain and was reviled even for a slum. The people who ended up there were largely those who couldn't be accommodated in a prison, those who had been driven out of the cities, or children who had been abandoned there like yesterday's garbage. I did whatever I had to in order to survive and to live to see another day. Picking pockets at every opportunity was a habit I picked up from a very young age. Anything that caught my eye, I took. But even then, I didn't end up with enough to live on. There were, al there were always men who there who made their living by taking from people like me. The surest way to make money was stealing from the safes of the rich when they were out of their mansions. The residential area full of wealthy people on the other side of the river, accessible through an underground sewer, was the, a perfect target for this. Every time I felt hungry, I sneaked inside one of the mansions and made use of the skills I felt I'd known since the day I was born. The most important thing to remember when doing this was not to take everything in one go. Instead, the key was to take only a small amount each time, enough to get by, but not enough for the, manners, for the mansion's owner to notice anything was gone. With a simple piece of wire, I had access to enough mirror to live for a couple more weeks. Before I knew it, I was doing it every day, building up a stockpile of money instead of simply taking what I needed in the short term. And boy, I paid the price for it. I had it all taken from me by the men of the slums and ended up being kicked and stomped on until I coughed up blood. Everyone did what they did, and they said they did as much anyway, so that they could keep on keep living on. Oh, that's that's not a fun image. Always pretending to be desperate as an excuse to live by any means, but always taking the easiest road they could find. The town I lived in was devoid of energy, but full of filthy humans like them. And like me. Again and again I thought about giving it up. Again and again I said to myself that I wanted to stop, but I couldn't do it. I hated myself for what I was doing. I hated the fact that I couldn't stop. It's because I didn't want to return to that life that I ended up becoming a bracer. Because if I didn't, I was scared I would end up right back where I was. The troop had saved me from that place and had made me into a respectable human being. But when I lost them, I was afraid. One thought stood out above all the rest. No matter how much I tried to forget, no matter how used I became to my new life, no matter how much I tried to deny it, I was yesterday's garbage from the slums. And nothing I could do would change that. And that's it, really. One day I'm sure I'll end up returning there. That's why I need to be strong. To stay strong. What job I do doesn't even matter. Anything I can pour my heart into that'll let me live an honest life is fine. Anything that keeps my mind off the past. Anything that leads me, lets me keep the ugliness in my heart at bay. If it makes me strong without relying on others, then it's fine. It's fine. I need to be strong. Stronger than anyone. Stronger than anyone! But am I? Am I really doing all right in my new life? Am I really getting stronger? Am I, Lucy? Ooh. Miss Sherizard? Are you alright? You're looking very gloomy all of a sudden. It's nothing. I'm fine. As soon as I finish this job, Kurt will give me that last, the last recommendation I need. I can finally become a real bracer. Then no one will be able to tell me I'm not strong. I won't let them. I will be strong. Anyway, we're leaving. Wait a second. Miss Sherizard? As soon as I finish this job. <clears throat> Damn, yo. That's, pr <laughs> That's pretty, uh... It's pretty bleak, honestly. Found tear bomb. Do you take joy in yanking out others' insides? Actually, I do.
God damn it. Oh, she's long range enough to. Okay, cool. Found Tira Ball. So I heard you like chests, you pervert! Sad. And so is that. Found here, Bob. Sorry, but the legendary item drop is in another chest. If you want it that badly, you could have asked. Guess it's locked. I know it is. Just shut up. You'll break my concentration. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sherzard took out a wire and inserted it into the keyhole. Whew. We're finally back on the surface. It's evening, too. That took longer than I thought it would. We should hurry. Of course. Are you all right, though? What? You look kind of pale. Are you feeling tired? Maybe we should rest a little before moving on. But I'm fine! I've had enough training to handle this level of physical activity, thank you very much. Don't underestimate the stamina of a bracer. I, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, what the hell? She's never more than a few steps behind me at any given moment. How is she still fine? She never seemed out of breath even when we were being chased by those guys, come to think of it. I feel like there were a few times where she was even ahead of me. Hmm? What is up with this girl? Is this, like, nothing to her? I'm absolutely sure you don't need to rest. I do have a few snacks on me. Would you like to share some? Would you like me to share some? It's okay. I I'm definitely fine. Right now we would need to focus on getting to the guild so we can hide out there. Food breaks can wait. We might have run into a lot of trouble on the way, but the request was to show around the capital. I've done that. Now all I need to do is get back to the guild and this request is done. I win! Come on, get a move on! I still feel like it would be a good idea to rest at least a little, though. Are you certain you're alright? How many times do I need to repeat myself before you get the message? To hell with the- To hell with it all! It has to be who I think it is. Yes! Hide! I was kept all, up all night working that damn story. All night! Who the hell does no tissue think she is? The better the scoop, the hotter it needs to be caught? Does she think I don't know that? Ah! What do you think he's talking about? I've got no idea more- I've got no more idea than you do. Maybe he's using some kind of code like those men from earlier? He couldn't be one of them, could he? D do you think he could be? Damn it all! I can't be sure. Just look at his eyes, though. He doesn't look like a man who makes an honest living to me. Well, he is a journalist, after all, Sherazard. I see what you mean. We've come this far. There's no way I'm letting us get caught now. We need to proceed carefully and deliberately. Let's see if we can find another route. route. Ah, if I remember correctly, that house over there is empty. 
This way, follow me. For Ido's sake, if I could get conclusive evidence, I would have done it already! You two patrol the area at the bottom of the stairs. I'll take the area up top. Understood. God damn, that is quick to... Bah! I guess I'm gonna have to call him... Wait, he works at the villa now, doesn't he? Just my luck. That's ages away! And I swear, this job is bad for my blood trick. Pressure. I need more, some nicotine in me. Oh God, they're still there. Come on! Why are there still so many of them going around? How can we get to the guild like this? I think we're going to have to spend the rest of the night here, unfortunately. It won't need to come to that. I think if I can find a good opening, we can force our way through. It's just a case of finding one. I don't think that's a good idea. We need to be careful and rest while we can. As logical as that sounds, I'm not buying it. It's a real reason. Get a grip, Shara. I can't let my emotions get the better of me. There's no guarantee we're even safe here, you know. I still think the safest option in the long run is to get to the guild, no matter what we have to do to get there. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What's that, Eddie? I think the second floor is a better place to rest than the first. We'll find it easier to escape from here than we would from below. This should be a good spot. Wait one damn minute! This is your safety we're talking about here. You could stand to listen to me! Those men will be patrolling carefully for the rest of the night. They aren't going to give you the opening you want. Or at least, I don't believe they will. We've made it this far, so I think it would be best for us to rest tonight and resume trying tomorrow, don't you? <laughs> trying to do what? Pardon? You're still hiding something, aren't you? For one thing, you're awfully familiar with the city for someone who claims it's their first time here. You also seem to know a lot about those men and what they will and won't do, too. What exactly are you really after? It's plain as day at this point that you want more than just not to get caught by them. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have asked to be shown around the capital. Not that I think that's what you want, either. What's your real goal? Well, no answer. The work we do is based around trust. We can't accept requests from people who won't tell us what they're up to, or who knows what kinds of crimes we would be abetting. Go on. The whole thing about that inheritance was a, all a big fat lie, wasn't it? Something about you'd been setting off alarms since we started running around together. Strike that. Since you first came to the guild. Why did you lie to me? Uh, um, the story about the inheritance is true. I swear it. I... I want to go to Grand Cell Castle. I really am the one who, to whom my grandfather gave his fortune, but I haven't finished the necessary procedures to truly inherit it yet. Until I complete the required paperwork in Grand Cell Castle's administrative room, I'm not legally allowed to anything. And that's why there are so many of those men in the black around that area. All of my relatives know exactly what I need to do, you see. So they're trying to make sure I can't do it. Still, if I don't keep trying to move forward, I'll... What a mess. Well, okay, for argument's sake, let's assume that I believe all of what you just said. Why am I only hearing about it now? Um, th that is... You thought I'd want in on that money, didn't you? If I did and I knew everything, I, I'd have all the opportunities a greedy girl could dream of to take it w one together with you. And that's what you thought I'd do, isn't it? I'd play along and then steal it all for myself the second a chance presented itself. Do I look like that much of a scumbag to you? No, you don't. That's not it at all. After I lost grandfather, I lived all on my own. 
the second his will became public, I had crowds of people descending upon me. People who, like you said, were interested only in claiming his fortune for themselves. They all started to live in mine in my grandfather's house. Before I knew it, my once peaceful life was shattered. One day, someone would push me down the stairs. Another, I'd taste something funny in my food. These kinds of things began happening on a regular basis. Legally, they were my relatives while I was a minor, so there was very little I could do. I tried reasoning with them at first, but in the end, I had no choice but to leave home myself. I wandered the highways alone, going from place to place, and trying not to be discovered. But I knew that while I could hopefully avoid being caught that way, I'd eventually just be declared as missing and presumed dead. Besides, after I had left once, even if I did go back home, I knew I'd promptly be locked up somewhere and reported as still missing regardless. Grandfather's will would be declared inval as invalid in time, and my relatives would blissfully share their newly bequeathed wealth between them. I hated the thought of that happening. That's why I decided to return here to the capital. Even if it's the last thing I do, I will formally inherit what he wanted me to. That was why I decided to try and get an escort from someone I could trust. So it's not that I don't think I can tr trust you. Not at all. A and, um, I'll admit that wanting to explore the capital was a lie. I'm sorry for deceiving you. <sighs> You're a grade A moron. I'm sorry? You could have said all this from the beginning and saved us a lot of headache. If I'd known what you were trying to do, I would have been able to formally escort you where you want to go. And the guild would have been the safest place for you to hide out, too. We wouldn't have ended up in this dump instead. I suppose you're right. I... I was just... scared. I'll never be able to forget what I saw that day. What I saw in the eyes of everyone who gathered to hear that will read. The horror I felt when I saw it. Madness. Insanity. Cold, murderous light. Emotions that no one can explain. That no one can put into words. It was invisible for long before they managed to push it back below the surface and out of sight, but it was still there. Because now, I believe that's something that all of us possess naturally. Human beings are capable of limitless cruelty. Every one of us. It's true. And that revelation's left me terrified as of us all. It's not that I don't trust bracers. It's just that I've been so scared. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry! I sh know I shouldn't have wasted your time with any of this. <sighs> um, I should have never gotten you caught up in all of this when you're busy enough already. Just forget that I- Listen. Huh? It's my policy to give 100% to all work I undertake. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> Interesting. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I've wanted to be strong and to live with my head held high. And I still believe I was right to feel that way, and yes, I've lived my hardest until now. But you've made me notice that there's something wrong with my attitude. I'm not going about it the right way. It's made me realize anew that I want to be able to keep living with pride in my every step. So no more saying sorry, okay? I want to see this job through to the very end. So, where was it in Grand Cell Castle that we need to go again? The administrative room. The deadline for submitting the paperwork is noon. N noon Noon today? That barely leaves us any time at all! Why are you only telling me this now? It has to be filled within a month of the deceased passing away. That's a law here in Libral, apparently. All right. I never was much good at this legal stuff. I bet Kurt knows it all by heart, though. He, he did seem like the type who might. He <laughs> he. Well, let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. As long as we do what we dis as we discussed earlier, we should be able to handle this. We're getting inside the castle, and they're not going to stop us. Miss Sherazard, I really am glad that you were the one who undertook my request. The more time I spend with you, the more I realize you're really someone dependable, who relies on their own strength to live. You're blowing my merits out of proportion, I think. Also, can we stop with the Miss Sherazard now? 
The way you say it, it just makes my name sound ridiculously long. D does it? It does. Feels like our conversations take twice as long as they should because of it. Hmm. Well, if you insist. And now you know all there is to know about what I want to do. So I'd like to formally request again that you escort me to Gransel Castle. You got it. You'll get there. I promise you that. Thank you. So we want to go to the north block, then. Yep. <laughs> Is she pulling a Metal Gear? Are you serious? <laughs> I knew you'd come eventually. Today's our last chance, after all. <laughs> the old switcheroo. <laughs> You're kidding me, a cat? N no, wait. Wait a sec. There might be something else inside. Don't let your guard down. I know. There they are! Too late! Preemptive attack. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. This isn't good! Now's our chance, Ina! Alright. Ah, there's more of them? No! Nice of you to finally show yourselves. What's the holdup? Why haven't you made an example out of them yet? A client's waiting. Get a move on. You're really gonna regret messing with us, kids. I hope you don't expect to just be able to walk away after showing yourselves. First, I'm gonna kill you. The other long young lady can live a while longer. She's still useful. As long as we get her to write her own will, it'll save us having to forge one later. You really think this will be that simple? <laughs> if you think saying that is going to unnerve us, you've got another thing coming. Ina, you can still run, right? Y yes? I'll take all these guys on myself. While I'm doing that, you run. What? Y you can't take on this many opponents on yourself and have any chance of winning. You'll... <laughs> Not going to beg for mercy, I take it? You've got something you need to do, and so do I. So let's just do them. Don't worry about me, as if I have any intention of dying here. What are you even talking about? Ha! Gah! T damn you! Go, Ina! B but I said go! You seem to be having a little trouble over there, Sherazard. What? Oh, shit! Who the hell are you? K kurt What are you doing here? He's a young man. Have you forgotten that I'm affiliated with the Gransel branch of the guild? I see nothing odd about my presence here. Well, I know, but... I'm happy that you seem to have realized exactly what it is that you must do. But I can't say I'm pleased about how willing you appear to be to throw away your life without first exploring your other options. I'm sorry. I can't entirely fault your decision from the perspective of a bracer, but I would like you to give a little more attention to your surroundings. I'm well aware that you seem staunchly opposed to relying on others. But take a good look at the situation you're currently in, and tell me exactly what it is that you should really be doing. Kurt, can you take care of things here for me? Certainly! Oh shit! Go! Summon lightning! Go! See, now I really want Kurt to show up as a playable character. 
Oh! Now, Ina! Right! They're getting away! Half of us should be enough to take care of this guy! Everyone else! Ah! What? Sorry for the delay, Kurt. Not at all. I've largely taken care of them as it is. <laughs> you sure do fast work. No, I'm more surprised to see that obstinate young lady finally came to her senses. When she was with the Zeiss brand, she was more like a wild boar, always charging forward without stopping to take a look around her. <laughs> I've always known she has what it takes to be an excellent bracer. She'd merely lost sight of something important and needed to be put back on track. Given the opportunity, she was always perfectly capable of doing so. She'll be able to get much stronger than she is now that she's righted herself. I'm sure of that. Ah, to be young again. Quit acting like we're not even here! Kill them both! They're, they're sure taking their time. The hell are they even doing? Now, now, there's no need to be so hasty. Capturing her isn't even necessary to the plan as far as I'm concerned. As soon as the Newton Bell chimes... T true as that may be! Sure, that would invalidate the will and ensure that she doesn't get all of the money, but it'd also mean that you'd have to share it with everyone else. Which means our share will end up going down. I'd kind of like to avoid that if we can. Don't you worry. We've got plenty of options. Remember, you're only dealing with a single young girl. What? Uncle? Why? Oh dear, what are you doing here, Ina? I keep telling you how dangerous it is to go venturing outside, and alone at that! You blind old man! She isn't here alone! Hmm. Oh, I can see you! Getting in my way! <sighs> it's like they don't even care if they kill Ina in the process! Tisk tisk, that wasn't a very good shot! That ticket marksmanship isn't exactly your forte! S sorry sir! Sherizard? What is it? Let's just force our way through here. We don't have time to mess around. Got it! It's time to come along home, Ina! Everyone's waiting for you, you know. <laughs> oh, that did not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping it would. Okay, that's not good. Good riddance. Well, at least I leveled up again, even though it doesn't really matter. What is the meaning of this? I paid good mirror to hire them, and this is the quality of service I receive? This has to be a breach of contract, surely. This isn't acceptable at all. I can barely bring myself to watch. I think it's time you took a little nap yourself. W what are you doing? Is that all you're capable of? Reckless violence? What a poor upbringing you must have had! <laughs> Uncle... I've got no interest in inheriting his grandfather's land or his money. That's not why I've been running away from you or doing any of what I've done. But much as I don't need it, I know I don't want you to have a single mirror of it either. I'm so sorry! <laughs> he bit- Damn, that's gonna hurt in the morning. I sometimes really find myself doubting you're actually from a rich family like you say you are. How awful of you to say such a thing. I'd like to believe I act 
the part more than you, at least. What are you doing? What an Idios's name happened out here! You there, throw down your weapon at once! I'm from the Bracer Guild. What? The Guild? Sherzad showed the soldier Sir Junior Bracer Badge. S so you are! So, what's a Bracer doing here? Her Majesty may recognize the Guild, but that doesn't make it all right for you to cause a commotion right outside of the castle. I had reason to believe that these people were responsible for numerous criminal acts within the capital. I knocked them out for the sake of peace and order in Grand Cell, and the safety of its people. So could you do me a favor and arrest them? I haven't covered that part yet. Well, very well. Ordinarily, we'd be taking you away with us as well, but I'll let you off this time. You know what to do! Right! Still, while you may have gotten away without punishment this time, don't expect to be so lucky next time you try and overreach your authority. Protecting the capital is our job, and we'll show no mercy to anyone who causes trouble. Bracer or otherwise. Oh, it is? Cool. Can I ask another favor, then? There's a bunch of their friends still in the city. You couldn't take care of those, could you? Of course, last I saw, Kerr was with them, so you probably won't have to lift a finger there, either. Uh, uh, you two, follow me! S sir S sir I'll never get used to dealing with the army. What? Oh, I was just impressed by how much authority the Bracer Badge wields. You were kind of cool. Th that was the first time I've tried using my badge like that, I'll have you know. But never mind my badge now. We're running out of time. We need to hurry. Right. Whew, we're finally here. <sighs> I can't believe a girl like you could actually keep up with me running full throttle. Anyway, get that paperwork work done. Quickly. I'll be watching from here. Okay. I'll be as quick as I can then. Ina put her signature on the necessary paperwork. I'm really happy for you, Ina. Congratulations. Um, Sherizard? It looks like you need a witness to sign this. A witness? You wouldn't be willing, would you? Sure, if you're okay with me doing it. Of course I am, silly. In fact, I want it to be you. Uh, then I'd be happy to. I never thought the day would come when I would be called as a witness for something like this. Or that the day would come when I'd be able to proudly say I was a senior bracer. Or that I would be able to feel overwhelmed with pride over something in the first place. The undersigned, Ina Holden, shall hereby inherit the property of Saul John Holden, as outlined in his last will and testament. Witness, Sherizard Harvey. Thank you, Sherizard. It's finally over. That's this request wrapped up, right? Actually, no. There's one more thing I need to do. We're still not done? Um, could you possibly bring me an application form? I'd like to make a donation to Her Majesty's Welfare Foundation. Aw, she gave all her money away. <laughs> that's, that's sweet. And they went to a bar, even though they're both like 16. Oh hey, they're having wine. Cheers! Cheers! I still can't believe you gave all of that money away. Okay, maybe you don't need all of it, but you'll still need some to live, right? I suppose you're right. What I did was a little strange, but I made up my mind to do this from the very beginning as a matter of principle. When I said I didn't do any of this for the money, I meant it. Well, still, congratulations on becoming a senior bracer. 
I'm not sure what the difference between a senior and junior bracer is, but it's clear that this is something you've really, you really worked for. It means I have a lot more authority, but I've got a lot more responsibility to go with it. It also means I get a nice new badge, but I wasn't even inter uh, ever interested in that personally. Oh, really? Yep. I'm relieved to hear that. I'm relieved to hear that. You can never really nail down a voice for I see you're finally beginning to understand the necessary mindset to be a bracer, Charizard. Crap, it's Kurt. Um, this this might look like alcohol to you, but it's actually water? As today is admittedly a cause for celebration, I will turn a blind eye to your drinking tonight. Just don't go drinking so much that it interferes with your ability to do your job. Oh, Kurt! Oh, sweet, sweet, naive Kurt. Fine. Hmm. What is it? As you're fully aware, Sharazard, you are now a senior bracer, which means you must behave with more responsibility. That means I expect to see an end to you drinking in every free moment between jobs, day or night, and sneaking out at night for a tool. I also expect to no longer discover that you're, you've been taking advantage of the busiest times in my schedule to behave like a drunken lunatic. I, uh... Is that really what you usually do, Sharazard? You sound like a tried-and-true troublemaker. Don't say anything. Are we clear? Y yes sir! <laughs> There's no need for the sir, of course. We're both senior braces now, which means we're b both on equal standing. Why, I'm hardly even a veteran. I'm still very much a rookie. Are you now? Says who? Regardless, this isn't what I'm here to discuss. The matter I came for concerns your uncle, Ida. I came to make you aware of the fact that the Bracer Guild is capable of asking for leniency in its punishment. Hiring a Jaeger Corps for personal use carries a very great punishment, you see. A, a Jaeger Corps? Are you referring to those men dressed in black? Yes, they're one of many corps that are known. They're one of many corps that are known to be active here in Libro. Recently, they have been m many such corps making their way into the country. And they've been successful in finding work, too. Hiring them is, of course, very illegal, but with the armies as slow to act as they currently are, I've taken this chance to take care of them, though. So we shouldn't see any sign of any in the f near future. T take care of them? All of them? That makes sense. So it wasn't a coincidence that he showed up when he did. He's been investigating all of the Jaeger Corps in Libral so that he could start an operation to wipe them all out? No wonder he seems so swamped. The Jaegers in this... The Jaegers in the country have been targeting wealthy individuals in hopes of getting them to sign contracts. There have been countless cases like this all around the country of late, with civilians getting caught up in it in a... In a, in a, in a <laughs> there have been countless cases like this all around the country of late, with civilians getting caught up in it at a worrying frequency. Goodness. I believe the case we're dealing with here was no exception, in that it was the Jaegers who came to your uncle rather than the other way around. It's hard to feel too much sympathy under these circumstances, but in a sense, your uncle was a victim in all of this as well. What? What are you trying to pull? Just because the Jaegers approached him and not the other way around, he's a victim? That he deserves to get off with a slap on the wrist? And Ina's supposed to be okay with that? He tried to kill her! Shara, please calm down. There's no need to shout. I'm sorry, but still... No one is saying he doesn't deserve to be punished for his actions. All I'm here to say is that if, and only if Ina wishes, the Guild is able to request leniency in his sentencing. That is all. Uh, oh. Phew. He scared me for a minute. You didn't make... You needn't make your... <laughs> You needn't make your decision immediately. Questioning him will take roughly a week as it is, based on what I've heard. You bear no responsibility to even make any choice at all, so please don't feel as though you have to think long and hard about this. Just please be aware that the possibility of, to forgive him exists. That is all. All right. Incidentally, should you ever find yourself in need of assistance with anything in the future, the Bracer Guild is always available to aid you. We're certainly not omnipotent or infallible, but we'll at least strive to do what we can to aid those who want our help. Thank you. I'm really sorry for not telling you the whole story from the start, too. Please don't be. With the situation you were in, your reluctance is quite understandable. 
Furthermore, one who is worthy of being a full-fledged bracer should be able to t tell roughly what a client wants just from looking at them. They should also not, under any circumstances, try to chase away a potential client in genuine need. Ouch. I still got a long way to go then, huh? Certainly, but don't we all? All right, I've said what I've came to say. So I'll be excusing myself now. Ah, huh, really? You can stand to join us for one drink. I'm afraid not. I still have my duties as guild receptionist remaining after all. As for you, Shara, be careful you don't have too much water. I like Kurt. He's he's great. He's a great guy. I like him. Crud. Why does he always gotta be so serious? Oh, actually, how about you, Ina? Can you handle your liquor? If you can, you should join me for a few drinks. Well, all right then. Uh, um, you're sure? Really, really sure? Of course. You've done so much for me, so how could I refuse? Joining you for a few drinks is the least I could do. <laughs> then let's get to boozing. Tonight's gonna be fun! I can't wait to see what a prim and proper girl like her looks like when she's drunk out of her mind. This is going to be awesome! Oh, Shara. Oh, no. Well, cheers! <laughs> I'd seen girls just like her on the other side of that river. Silky blonde hair, beautiful blue eyes, smooth skin. The blessed, blissful children on the other side, dressed like royalty and smiling like angels. Seeing them, I asked myself the same question over and over again. Why aren't I on that side? I envied them. I hated them. I both longed to be one of them and rejected their very existence. I knew the answer to my question from the very beginning. I despaired in myself. I always tried to avoid others getting too close, believing that to be what I needed to do in order to live. But I could never completely get rid of the tiny lingering hope deep within my heart. That eventually, no matter how long it took, the day would finally come when I could smile from the heart. That the day would come when I would finally be able to accept and forgive myself for how I was. The next day, Ina visited the Bracer Guild and registered her desire for her uncle to be shown leniency in his sentencing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to accompany her, having been drunk under the table by her the night before. <laughs> oh, God. Side story. Client finished. Received Heaven's Eye and 4,000 Mira. That was a very nice... I, li I like that story, actually. I like that story a lot. Okay. Well, we got one more. Let's... And yeah, that didn't even take that long. Only like an hour and a half. Not even a whole hour and a half. Bring to me the girl who shines like the sun, and may the boy who cherishes that light be at her side. Only then shall the door open. Open the door? Yeah, of course it was going to be Estelle and Joshua. Didoy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Man, I might actually be able to do some star doors tonight at this rate. It's a filler, filler night. I shall grant you a memory fragment in my blessing. The first week. Is this going to be when they're, like, real little again? They do have the sprites for that. Well, hello there. There's no need to be so afraid. I'm but a humble magician. I'll heal your broken heart for you. Provided, of course, I am compensated. Yep. It's little... <laughs> little Joshua... J Joshua, are you okay? Oh, your temperature's gone up again. Stay still! Where's a towel? Where's a towel? Wait a sec, okay? I'll be right back with some water. Karen, I... I'm... All I could hear in my head during those days were the same words repeating endlessly like a broken record. 
Yet somehow I had no idea who was saying them. All I knew was that... Little Joshua! <laughs> uh, I... Huh? I can't find him anywhere. He's supposed to be hurt and rusting, not out wandering around. Joshua, where the heck are you? Joshua! I like your little pigtails. Oh, there you are! What are you doing out there? You've got to start taking it easy. Mm. Why? I'm fine. Are you sure? Is your fever gone? It was just a temporary one as a result of my injuries. My temperature went back down this morning. I'm fine now. Really? Phew. Yay, that's good. You were moaning over and over in your sleep. I was worried about you. Hmm. Did I say anything? Huh? Forget I asked. <laughs> she just hops up there. So, um, if you're feeling better, do you want to play together? Must have been pretty boring to sleep all the time. Huh? I know it's boring for me when I'm stuck in bed with the fever. I hate not having anything to do. Oh, but you probably shouldn't be running around with your foot all messed up. I guess tag and kick the can won't work. Hmm. If you want to play, play by yourself. Just stay away from me, because it's probably going to get dangerous here soon. It is? I'm grateful to you for taking me. <laughs> I'm grateful to you for taking care of me. Pass that on to Cassie's Sprite, too. Hmm? No gloomy faces allowed! What? <laughs> when you're feeling down, the best thing to do is to do something you enjoy. I'll pick you right up. Wait here, okay? I'll bring you stuff you'll really like. Pinky swear. Estelle is a great sister. <laughs> sister slash lover. There still don't seem to be any signs that anyone's going to come after me. But it's bound to happen eventually. I've got two or three days at most before they find this place. Two or three days. Joshua! Here you go, a present from me. So cheer up, okay? Estelle proudly presented Joshua with a couple of roly-polies. Huh? What is she doing? Aren't they cute? They curl up if you poke them. Poke them. I'm fine, thanks. What? How come? They're so cute. Because I don't. Also, stop coming over here. Stay away from me. So you want another kind of bug, huh? That wasn't what I was trying to say. Hold on, I know lots of bugs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How about this? It's a dragonfly. I don't want one of these either. Okay, but how about this? You've got to like these. Behold, a Malgan monitor lizard. <sighs> what? You're one tough cookie. Look, this isn't about what I like. I don't want any kind of bug or lizard or anything you have to offer me. Ah, this one's my favorite, too. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm feeling more and more like there's something I'm missing here. Sit down for a minute, Joshua. I've got a serious question to ask. I'm already sitting. What kind of bugs do you like? Big ones? Pretty ones? Ones with lots of legs? Ones with long feelers? Ones with shells? Wings? Webbed feet? Uh, I don't want any bugs at all. What? I'm gonna have to pull out all the stops. I need something so surprising you'll change your mind. Don't move a muscle. I'll find something I will. <sighs> she sure likes bugs, doesn't she? Wait, do we, uh, like, I'm like, do we get to play as Baby Estelle <laughs> all of a sudden? Ah. Uh, Aw, he ran away. He had a really, he had a real funny face, too. No, I can't let this get me down. Not without said, Joshua looks now. He's in so much pain, and he can't move around or do anything fun, either. So he's not going to find him the ultimate bug to cheer him up. Oh, it's back! You get back here! It's so quiet here. 
Even after all I've been through, this is the first time I've been in a situation like this. Joshua! <sighs> Hiya! Look! Look at this one's face! How many times do I have to tell you I don't want any bugs before it gets through? Are you even listening? Look, though, I hereby name this the Human Moth, because the pattern on its wings looks like a human face. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> I knew this would surprise you. Except it didn't. I knew my efforts would pay off big time. Next time, I'm going to bring back something even more awesome. Whee! She's so obnoxious. Man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, little Joshua. Child. Oh, great, she's back. Joshua! Geronimo! Hey! <laughs> she kicked up a hornet's nest. <laughs> what was that for? What was what for? <laughs> I'm gonna splash you. Ugh. The water feels so nice. Oh, I know. Want to go fishing? Playing in the water is fun, but real fishing is even more fun. Let's go catch today's lunch. Come on, Joshua. We're getting out. You'll catch a cold if you stay in those wet clothes too long. <laughs> baby Joshua and baby Estelle hanging out. Oh, hey. Yay! Caught a big one! This one's for you, Joshua. You don't need to catch anything for me. Now I'm going to catch one for me. If I don't catch anything, I'll have to go without lunch. And that would suck. Huh? She doesn't listen to a word anyone says to her, does she? Oh, I got a bite! Huh? Oh, it's a dace. It's tiny. Mm, Daddy's getting this one. He probably just spent the day messing around instead of working anyway. He doesn't deserve a cool fish. What? Okay, next one I catch is definitely mine. Hi-ho! She doesn't know anything about Cassius Bright? So he tells his daughter nothing about what he does. It fits his profile, I suppose. Aw, it got away. The next one's not going to be so lucky, though. Hmm. Ah, a tug. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Huh? Um. Hmm. Hmm? No, it's nothing. Was it always so bright? The greenery is hurting my eyes. Gotcha! This one's gonna be huge! Come on, come to me, lunchy fishy. What the heck? It's a baby! The second week. Oh, this is going to be about how they become, like, siblings, isn't it? Oh, hey, it's these two. You think she's okay? She didn't come over to the shop yesterday, either. I think you're worried about nothing. Estelle's okay. She always does whatever she wants when she wants. But she used to come over to play every day. Uh, do they not see her? Estelle! It's, Al it's Alyssa! Estelle, come outside! She's right over there, you dumbasses. Dude, I can see her pigtail. You don't think she's been abducted, do you? I think she... I think I'd buy she got attacked by monsters in the woods and ended up experiencing slow, drawn-out death more than that. That sounds like 
the way she'd go. That's so gross! That's what she gets for going into the woods all the time to play. Oh, oh no. Poor Estelle. You do know I'm joking, right? Come on out, Estelle! Alyssa's gonna cry if you d going to cry if you don't. If you're looking for Estelle, she's out at the moment. You're a boy! Huh? <sighs> Who are you? Yeah! Joshua! I caught something amazing! Huh? What are you doing here? Estelle! Where have you been all this time? I'm so worried about you. Who's this boy, anyway? Someone you know? We've been trying to talk to him for ages now, but he won't tell us anything. He keeps telling us everything we ask is none of our business. Estelle! Are these your friends? Y yeah they are It seems they're not lying about that part, then. They don't seem to have undergone any kind of training, either. And their guard, guard is virtually non-existent. I figure it's about time they found me. But it doesn't look like these two have anything to do with them. He's barely talked ever since we got here. I've never seen him around Roland before. How do you even know him? Oh, because Daddy gave him to me as a present. He's my new little brother. <laughs> oh, God. What? He is? Wow, I sure wouldn't have guessed that. Neither would I, because it doesn't make sense. That's not how getting a little brother works. But it's true. Right, Joshua? No, it isn't. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, young man. Listen to what your older sister tells you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, that... As if someone like you could be my older sister. Oh, that... All of the context here makes that hurt even more, actually. Huh? Why? I'm not here to be friends with you. The only reason I'm here at all is that things just worked out that way. That's what Cassius Bright said, wasn't it? Huh? Oh, and one more thing. Can you stop bringing me bugs? I don't know what your obsession with them is, but being too much of a meddler is just going to end with you getting hurt. Estella's dude. Ha! Ow! Take that! And that! Ow! Ow! In this house, I'm the older one! That means you have to listen to what I say! A Ow! Okay? Okay, Joshua? Go on! Answer! N no! Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> God. Well, those two sure get along well. So it seems. You two can shut up any time! Got you! Oh, God. I win! From today until forever, I'm your big sister! No Bexies allowed! But I'm older than you! <laughs> also, I actually had an older sister! And she died horribly in front of my eyes! <laughs> Estelle's sitting up sleeping. I swear, why does she do this every single night? I wish she'd mind her own business. Oh hey, it's Cassius. <laughs> He's drinking some bourbon. <laughs> Joshua? Oh man, what if we get Cassius determined to sleep outside again, hmm? Huh. Not a fan of sleeping in the same room as Estelle, I take it. Not a fan of... She's way too much of a meddler. She's also completely clueless. clueless. She's got no idea how much danger she's willi willingly exposing herself to. Why don't you tell her, Cassius Bright? She has a right to know. Why do you stand by and say nothing? The room next to Estelle has been used as a storage room for a while now, but it could be converted into a be bedroom if need be. 
It might actually be perfect for you. Haven't been in there in a while, but I think there might even already be a bed in there. I'm fine as I am. I don't need a room. Hmm. I'll give you that Estelle loves to poke her nose into anything and everything that catches her interest. And I can see how, from your perspective, that makes her look like a simple-minded, clueless child. But that's where you're mistaken. It's not her who's clueless. It's you. Ah! Estelle knows exactly what she wants out of life and what she has to do to get it. Those things are part of what makes her who she is. Although I can't deny that I was hoping to raise her to be a little more of a, well, ordinary girl than she's grown up to be. Huh. Still, compare that to you, Joshua. You don't have a clue what you want anymore. You don't know what you should be doing. Which of you is really in the right here? I... Just so we're clear, where, whatever you decide to do, I have no intention of indulging you. I'm not going to tell you to leave, but I'm not going to tell you to stay either. What you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to become, those are all things for you to decide and you alone. No one can make that decision for you and no one knows what kind of decision you will make. Only you. I... Just what do I want? Several weeks late. Jeez, okay, so we're just skipping it. I thought it was gonna be the third week, but okay, several weeks later. Several peaceful weeks pass. Joshua's injuries continued to heal, and it wasn't long before he was able to walk with ease again. Estelle was jumping for joy at this fact, using it as an excuse to drag him out to play with her at every possible opportunity. For him, however, it meant more than deciding what game to play next. He had to decide what course of action he was to take. The time for him to make his choice was drawing near. Oh, hey, the Purzel Farm. South, Purzel Farm. Purzel? That's the short-haired girl's last name, right? Uh-huh. This is where Tio lives. Guess what, though? Her mom had twins. As if I needed to guess anything. You wouldn't shut up about it when you first heard the news. You've also been o <laughs> You've also been to see them over and over as it is. Are they still exciting enough to want to keep visiting? Oh, we're not here to visit them today. We're here to help at the farm. Right now it's harvesting time, but Miss Hannah's kind of stuck with the babies, so they need some help. And when Alyssa told me about it, I wanted that help to be me. Well, it's nice of you to offer, but why do I have to come too? Because I said so. No complaining. <laughs> Let's go. I love Baby Estelle so much. Baby Estelle is as good as adult Estelle. <laughs> or teenage Estelle and adult this is part of your rear hillbilly process. I told you, it's rehabilitation. Rear hillbilly process. I love it. She's a Muppet baby, and I love her for it. Estelle! Oh, Joshua came too, huh? I bet you dragged him along by force, didn't you? Hey! We've come to help! Well, well, music to my ears. Thanks so much for coming over. You did an awful lot for us while Hannah was pregnant as it was. Aw, that was nothing. Piece of cake for me. <laughs> You're a force to be reckoned with, Estelle. Oh, but who is... He's Estelle's new little brother. You know about him, I told you before. His name's Joshua. Oh, that does ring a bell. The one who had the big... F the one who had a big fight with her at some point? <sighs> Aw, the babies. Mrs. Purzel! Hello, Mrs. Purzel. Why, hello to you, too. I'm so sorry to make you two help out again. You've been helping out so much as it is. If I could get right back to work, I would, but... Easy now. You need to rest for a while longer before we can start thinking about that. Why? I was back to work in no time after Tia was born. I just put her on my back and got right to work again. R really? How am I supposed to know? I was a baby! Sticking twins on my back is probably pushing it, though. Oh? Who's our black-haired friend? That's Joshua. Tio told us him about... Tio told us about him a while ago. Right, Estelle's younger brother. I remember now. Why, isn't he adorable? Ugh. Have you come to help us, too? Sorry if it's not much fun. Wait, is that a bandage I see? Uh-oh, you're right. Didn't even notice till you pointed it out. Ugh. My injuries are more or less healed. They don't have any effect on my ability to work. 
but more or less healed means they're still healing. We can't ask an injured boy to do all our work for us. You need to sit and rest. Honey, I have the perfect idea. <laughs> She's gonna, he's gonna watch the babies. And that's why the... Okay, let me explain the pr harvesting process. Estelle, Alyssa, Tio, you can handle the fields in this area here. Try and start from the fields on the north side. It'll be more efficient to split up, too. Franz and I will take... Franz and I will take care of the vegetables in the greenhouses. And as for Joshua... Joshua's watching the babies. I'll leave taking care of the babies to you. The boy is Will and the girl is Cher. Ugh. Understood. Well, let's get well. Let's get to work. If you run into any problems or there's something you don't understand, don't be afraid to ask. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> just, I just love the exasperated look on little Joshua's face. <sighs> the past few weeks, there's been no sign at all that anyone's coming after me. Why not? It must have worked out where I am by now. So am I supposed to take this to mean they're not interested in me anymore? So they just stole my memories and cast me aside? But still, I still feel like, like I've lost something really important to me. What is it? Just what have I... Joshua! What have I... Joshua! What? Are you listening, Joshua? Uh, Estelle? Check this out! Still held out a large carrot. Isn't it cool? I harvested this myself. And this eggplant, too. Look, it's so shiny. Uh, uh, huh? What? Uh, you don't know you scraped your knee, right? Huh? One day you'll learn to think before you leap. Or at least learn to take care of yourself after. Come on, let me take a look at it. Uh, okay. He just, he puts the babies on the ground like they're not. Joshua took out some disinfectant. Ow! That stings. Just endure it. It'll be over soon. I swear she attracts scratches and scrapes like a magnet. It's a wonder she hasn't caught tetanus or something. Huh, Joshua? You really do love causing people trouble. Hi. I never asked you to do anything for me. That just makes you cause people even more trouble. You don't do anything about your injuries, or even notice them, and it just makes more work for others. You're a danger to yourself no matter how you look at it. <sighs> anyway, Joshua, why do you- Oh, she's cut the back of her hand, too. Eek! Tell me where you're gonna put that stuff before doing it. <sighs> Joshua finished treating Estelle's wounds. There, I'm done. Try and take a bit more care in the future, unless you want- a lot more of that stuff being up. Oh no! What can we do? You don't need to do anything. Looking after them is my job. You go back to your own work. But. Aww. They just wanted to be held. Gurgle. <laughs> Gurgle. Wow, they stopped! You sure you're not their mom? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Just go back to work. You're never going to finish if you're not doing anything. Oh, okay. Thanks, Joshua. Thanks, huh? <laughs> Did he just put them down again? Oh. There's that song again. It always just, it makes my heart ache. I, I love that song so much. <coughs> Whoa, he's so cool. I didn't know he could do that. A handsome boy playing the harmonica beautifully with the setting sun in Setting sun, what am I saying? A handsome boy playing the harmonica beautifully with the setting sun in the background? There's a picture if I ever saw one. Did you know he could play Estelle? Ugh. He's supposed to be my brother and he never told me at all. He's gonna get a huge lecture later. Oh, God. Oh, Estelle. What are you getting so mad for?
Well, hello there. There's no need to be so afraid. I am but a humble magician. I will heal your broken heart for you. Provided, of course, I am compensated. Oh no. I finally understand. I finally know what I lost. Everything that was important to me. My happy memories, all that made me myself. That was the compensation I gave. All that remains now is a doll, a twisted, broken fragment of who I was. Someone who exists only to destroy what others love. I need to leave. If I stay any longer, I'll end up destroying the happiness of everyone around me. I need to keep the things that I care about as far away from me as possible, not close by. I need them to be far, far out of my reach. And I need to do it now, before the darkness within me contaminates this place forever. I need to leave, before my very existence causes her ir irreparable harm. Oh, so we're still going. Okay, that's fine. The next day... I can't believe him! Not even a Jumbo Mantis or Double Seahorse were enough to get a reaction. He must have really fancy tastes. Hehe, <laughs> okay, today will be the day I'll impress him. Oh yes, no one can resist the power of the Bug of Legends. Well, hello there, Estelle. What are you doing standing around out here? Are you off to do some bug catching? I sure am, but today's not gonna just... But today's not just <laughs> God. But today's not gonna just... <laughs> God, why can't I say this line of... But today's not gonna be just any bug catching day. Oh, do tell. <laughs> Today I'm gonna make a special syrup that attracts bugs, and with it, I'll be able to catch a super amazing one. Really? That's interesting. But seriously, sweetie, you're 11 now, and a girl. I think you should be starting to dress a bit more like one at your age. But they're. But these are comfier and way easy to move around. <laughs> Did you just sneak a fucking Pokemon reference into this? Not cool, Exceed! Not fucking cool! Anyway, bye! Uh, Estelle? <sighs> Some things never change. Oh, you'll be surprised. Okay, first I need to get all the ingredients I need to make my super duper syrup. Alyssa should be able to give me some dragon beans, so that's easy. Then there's the fresh milk and fresh eggs. Teal will give me some if I ask nicely. Maybe. Check for new sneakers. Hmm, actually, it might be more fun to go check the shop for new sneakers right now. Renan! Hey, Estelle. Taking you here to look at sneakers? You bet. Are there any new ones in? We sure do. I have nothing new at all. Sorry, kiddo. The next delivery is due the 16th of my schedule is any indication. The 16th? That's only a week away! One more week. Just one more week. Um... Um, Estelle? Oh, hi! <laughs> you came at just the right time. I just found some clothes that I think would look so cute on you. Today will be the day you finally get to realize your potential as a girl with some nice clothes. But I can't wear them now! I'm going bug catching! I'll just get dirty! Wait! I'm going bug catching! I almost forgot because I was thinking about sneakers! <laughs> Back to getting ingredients! Go see Alyssa. Time to go see Alyssa! Full speed ahead! I love you. I love you, ADHD Estelle! As if that little bundle of energy didn't already have enough to power an airship. Now she's got more than ever. I wonder what's gotten her so fired up. Go check- Alyssa! Oh, Estelle! I still can't get over how cool Joshua was yesterday. I want to hear him play the harmonica again. He'll be lucky to get that out of him. He won't even talk now. He hasn't said a word since we heard him playing. What? For real? Yeah. It was my fault for taking his harmonica without permission and trying to play it too. <sighs> oh, you silly thing. Listen, Estelle? Joshua doesn't seem to want to talk about it, but it feels to me like he's had some kind of painful experience that's bothering him. So, oh, I know. You do? He's got something serious on his mind. I can tell. 
Sometimes I look at him and he looks like he's really in pain about something. But I don't think I'd be able to help him with whatever it is, even if I knew. So... That's why I just want to try and cheer him up in my own way for now. Aw, that's really sweet of you. Anyway, give me some dragon beans! Oh, don't worry, Estelle. One day you'll figure everything out. What? Like the coffee beans? You're going to use those for... That's a secret! You're so weird, Estelle. Well, okay, hold on a sec. I'll go get some. <clears throat> Here you go. Estelle handed... <laughs> Alyssa... God, Estelle. Alyssa handed Estelle some dragon beans. Thanks! Now I gotta go to Tio's house. I need to get some fresh milk and eggs from her. What the heck are you planning, Estelle? Hehehe, <laughs> I'll show you later. You might pass out from surprise, though. You know what? I think I'm okay with not knowing. Anyway, see you later! Aw, now I wish she told me. <laughs> oh, poor baby Alyssa. Tio! Oh. Hey, Estelle, what's up? Wait, forget it. I know you're just... I know just ha from how you're dressed. <laughs> Today's bug catching is special, though. But first, I need some fresh milk and fresh eggs. What in heaven's name do you need those for? Don't tell me you've suddenly developed an interest in cooking or something. Well... Estelle explained what she was trying to do. B bug of legends? Yep, I'm trying to give Joshua the surprise of his life. I'm still not sure I'm following all of this. Let me try again. I guess you're trying to make some kind of aromatic capable of attracting that bug. Why is Tio so smart as a kid? She's kind of dumb as hell as an adult. Probably. Just, whatever you do, promise not to get any of it on me, alright? I won't, I won't. I don't know if I believe you. Tio seems like totally out of character. She, she was not the smart as an adult, was she? She would not use the word aromatic, I'm sorry. Well, here's what you wanted. Estelle received both fresh milk and fresh eggs. Oh, and one more thing before you go, Estelle. Hmm? If you really see him as your little brother, you should start gradually opening up to him about the past. Try getting him to do the same with you, too. Maybe try talking to him about your mom? Yeah, I can do that. Doesn't feel like the kind of thing you need to sit and have a big serious discussion about, though. I was gonna be together, so I think I'll get it eventually. Because we're family now. Well, I tried. That's a very you way of to look at it, but I mean that in a good way. <laughs> Thanks, Tio! Okay, I've got everything I need now. All I gotta do is head to Mistwald and catch me the Bug of Legends. You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna blow your socks off! She hopped the crick. <laughs> wait a second. She's not gonna go there all by herself, is she? Just what is this Bug of Legends thingy anyway? Ah, uh, the clock tower. Hmm. Maybe I'll stop by for a little bit. Wowzers! <laughs> oh? If it isn't young Estelle, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Mr. Mayor. Were you thinking of playing in the clock tower? The repairs on it were finally finished last month. Yeah, I know. The artisans of the town all put their heads together to try and make it as close to the original as possible. They tried to use as many of the original materials as they could, too. So what do you think? It looks almost exactly like it did, doesn't it? I guess. I don't really remember it that well, though. Hmm. You know, looking at this clock tower fills me with a magical energy. It makes me feel like everyone in Roland... No, like everyone I've ever met is supporting this town and wishing it well. It does? That's why this spot is really important to me. Oh. I gotcha! You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna go catch me the Bug of Legends. P pardon uh, um Estelle? Full speed ahead! I'm always on the case. <laughs> Whatever was that about?
Is big sister Sherazar going to have to save the day? No, wait. <laughs> we saw her meet Joshua for the first time, so... <laughs> I can smell the scent of my prey. Hmm. Somewhere around here should be good. I'm going with this one. It's just screaming, pick me! La la la. And done. Today's the day Joshua loves bugs. I mean, this bug is legendary. He's in for the shock of his life. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look out, baby Estelle. You're in trouble. Thank you for everything. Oh, I get it. He's going to save Estelle's life, isn't he? And then he's going to realize, I can use my powers for good. Ah! <laughs> that sounded like Estelle. Did something happen to her? No, it might not have. It's Estelle. She probably just tripped. But... I definitely didn't trip! Uh, no. Whatever may or may not have happened to her, it's got nothing to do with me anymore. She's got nothing to do with me anymore. Damn it! Man, how did he hide those little blades on him? This is mine! You can't have it! Go away! Shoo! Shoo! D don't come any closer! Are you listening to me? What? Get behind me! Oh god! Baby Joshua used the evil eye attack on them. Phew. This is about as much as I can do with my current stamina. They ran away. Um, Joshua? What is wrong with you? Huh? What are you even doing this far in a place like... <laughs> what are you even doing this far in a place this dangerous? Did you even stop to think what might happen? You're a child! Don't put yourself in unnecessary danger! Why do you never stop to think before diving headfirst into anything? For once in your life, try and look before you leap! Otherwise... Joshua? <laughs> you came at just the right time. That's not funny! If I hadn't... Look at this! Oh <laughs> god, the bug! Look, look, I finally caught one! <laughs> Fuck, she caught... Oh god, baby Estelle, you are a treasure. I love you. This is it! This is the bug of le This is the bug of legends! What? Uh, uh, it's huge! <laughs> Isn't it cool? Um, Joshua? If something bad happened to you in the past, but you don't want to talk about it, then I'm not going to force you to. I'll just wait until you feel ready to talk about it with me. Till then, I'll be right here by your side, waiting. Uh, uh. The other thing I'll do is give you this bug. So cheer up, okay? <sighs> you're telling me this. You're telling me that bug's somehow legendary? Because I don't see what's so impressive about it. What? B but it's huge! This is the most awesome bug in the entire world! Nope. Not in the slightest. <sighs> you just wait. I'll find a bug that'll amaze you, even if I have to search forever and ever. You're, so you just wait right here. Oh, God. You amaze me more than any bug ever will. Aww. Uh, because I can't believe how much I've changed because of you. You're such a strange girl. It was then that I made a promise to myself. It was for my own good and no one else's. The only condition by which I could permit something as unnatural as me to be allowed to live in this peaceful world. Doing so was the most cowardly thing I could have possibly done, but I hope you can forgive me. I was more concerned about that than about continuing to deceive myself.
On the final day. Wait, the final day? What the fuck do you mean the final day? Oh, hey. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how many people came to see us off. Thanks for coming. It means a lot that you came to be here with us. So as I think you all know, Joshua and I are going to be away from Libril for a while. We'll be traveling around the continent doing our bracer work for the, from the various guilds in the countries we visit. We might be away for quite some time, too. Right now, we intend to travel across basically the whole continent. But one day, we will come back here to roll it. We promise. Yeah, we will. We'll make sure we've grown so much that you won't be able to believe your eyes when we come back, too. The cat! The cat's there, too! <sighs> I still can't believe you decided all of this on your own without ever consulting your loving papa. Oh, didn't they? They did not. That made taking time off to come to, s to come see them off a real pain, let me tell you. Sorry about that, Dad. We realize we didn't give you much notice with this. It's something we discussed seriously, though. Hopefully you'll be able to believe what we're doing is for the best. As long as you've given serious thought to what you're doing, you have my support. So go out there and do what you want to. I'll always be right there waiting for you. Good to hear. Thanks, Dad. You're both veteran bracers at this point, so I'm sure you don't need much in the way of advice. Instead, I'll keep this simple. From now on, it'll be up to you to decide what you need to learn and what you need to know. Focus on improving your powers of discernment. And that's all I'll say. We'll be sure to take it to heart. Life as a bracer is very different in other countries compared to how it is here, as I'm sure you're about to find out. But the fundamentals are the same. Just do as we taught you here, and I'm sure you'll be just fine. Thanks. <coughs> Thanks. I'm sure all we were taught will come in handy if we ever find ourselves in a bind. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll be able to handle anything you find yourselves up against. We taught you ourselves, after all. Follow your hearts with your heads held high. You'll be just fine. That means a lot to us. We can't thank you enough for all you've taught us over the years. And I'm sure it will keep coming in handy in the future, too. <laughs> for real. We really owe you two. Oh, there's no need to thank me. I've just done what I always can as your big sister. Don't drink or eat anything that seems funny while you're away, Estelle. Make sure you brush your teeth before bed, too. Now you don't get so caught up in work you forget to shower. And... and... Easy now, Stella. She's not a child anymore, you know. She knows how to take care of herself. I hope she can, because if you don't look after yourself, Estelle, I'll be showing up in your dreams. <laughs> the scary part is, I wouldn't put it past you to find a way to do that. D don't worry, that really won't be necessary. I swear. You take good care of her too, Joshua. And remember, there's always a job available for you at my shop if you want it. So come back safely, you hear? I will. Please take care of yourselves while we're away. I don't want you to go, Estelle! You won't forget about me, will you? Come on now, stop crying. <laughs> of course I won't. When we've settled at when we've settled in at wherever we end up next, we'll write to you right away, okay? Look after Alyssa while I'm away, okay, Tio? I will, I will. You make sure not to let Joshua get away while you're out of the country too, okay? What? <laughs> Duly noted. Do you two really have to go? Do you two really have to go? Joshua! <laughs> oh, look at that! You've got the twins crying buckets, too! It's no surprise that this would be hard on them. You have been looking after them since they were babies. Of course they'll miss you. <laughs> I've got tons of great memories with them to keep me company while we're away, thankfully. It's probably going to be a while before we can see any of you again. But you'll never leave our thoughts. Promise. I'm gonna miss you! The Bosebound airliner will be departing shortly. <laughs> the Bosebound airliner will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship at this time. Oh dear, looks like we're out of time. Well then, take care of yourselves. We will. You too, sir. Joshua? Have you made up your mind then? <laughs> oh god. I have. I want to be Joshua Bright after all. I know the name distinction might not be a big deal in the eyes of others, but it is for me. It's part of me taking the first and most difficult step on this journey. It's part of making choices only I can make for myself. By the time we come back home, I want to have the strength to proudly declare living the rest of my life alongside you, Estelle, and everyone in Roland. 
Even after taking that first difficult ste step, it's not like I can guarantee it'll get any easier. Maybe on some days it'll be so hard that I'll want to give up. Right now, though, right now I'm more happy to go out there and find my own path to walk. If I can do that, I can feel like I'm working toward becoming the person I want to be. Very well, then. <laughs> That's the kind of positive attitude I wanted to see. It suits you. Heh. <laughs> Thanks. That's the best compliment you could have possibly given me. I swear, what is with the men in our family? Would it kill the two of you to talk so that the rest of us can understand what you're saying? But whatever. Come on, Joshua, get on board or you'll, you're gonna get left behind. You're gonna be left behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Aw, they're already like a married couple. I love, I love these two. Well, I'll see you around. Estelle, when you come back here next, I'm going to be a bracer just like you. I am. <laughs> now that I want to see. Actually, I'd like to see that too. You don't think I can do it, do you? I'm serious. By the time you get back, I'll be a bracer. I swear. I, I think I want to become one too. So, don't worry. We'll be back. We promise. I can't wait to work you two to the ground as co-workers. I'll be counting on you to have my back. So don't let us down, okay? I won't. Never forget that there's always a home for you here. No matter how long you're away, that will never change. We... we won't. Thanks, Dad. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Off to Crossbell. <laughs> well, or so we thought. <laughs> That, neither of those took nearly as much time as I thought. Unless this isn't over, which it seems like it should be. But maybe it isn't? Side story departure. No, that's the end of it. Okay, cool. Received memory. Received 8,000 Mira. Try that fishing mini game again. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely gonna do those star doors tonight, but bring to me the girl who loves to fish. Only then shall the door open. Open the door? Yes. We're trying this shit again. I'm sorry. I demand satisfaction. All right. So I think I know what I have to do. I have to catch... Yeah, we already saw all this. I'm not rereading this, okay? Sorry. We're fast-forwarding. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I want a fucking fish, damn it! Also, the fucking Puyo Pop <laughs> title screen is incredible here. I love it. Now which rod should I use? Okay, use the lightweight. What about bait? Okay, so yeah, here goes. Okay, come on. Hit. Easy peasy. Okay, rainbow trap. What are my opponents doing? All right, so let's, huh, not bad, but I can do better. Ha. one ain't bad. Okay, so I'm leading him right now. Don't get cocky. I'm just getting started. Now, what rod should I use? What about bait? Okay, so... Alright, so let's try... River bug. Let's see what that gets me. Here goes. There has to be some type of fish I can catch that... <clears throat> Come on. Do it. Come on. Pull it up. Pull it up. What? Man, so close, too. I wonder how my opponent's doing. Oh, I gotta take this baby slow and sit. How did I lose? What the hell? That's not fair. What, did I lose because I'm in the lead? Great, he's gonna pull up like a hundred pound fish or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I give it my all now I've got... Okay, so yeah, n now he's way in the lead. Don't get cocky, I'm just getting started. Yeah, 
rock eater, huh? Okay, yeah, no, now I'm behind. He needs to fuck up once, or else I'm dead. He is not going to fuck up, is he? Wait, yes, yes, yes! Ah, fuck! Okay, 62. Do I have anything I can use for God damn it! What the hell? <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. Okay, river bug. I need some fucking hints or something, honestly. Is what I need. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, he just needs to fuck up once or like twice, maybe? Twice would be ideal. need some ah fine okay good okay so i may not be able to beat him but at the very least it's close all right i've got to make the most of this opportunity now which rod should i use how about bait all right Come on, do it. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, he's probably going to win this just because, like. Okay, so. It's going to be like a giant one, isn't it? Ah, okay. Seriously, how the fuck am I supposed to compete with that? Okay, let's see. Um, I, I lost. Phew, I'm glad I got to retain my own. I'll be able to sleep. I might not have lost anything, but I feel like crap for losing. Well, let's try that again then. Okay, hold on a second here. I'm looking up a guide for help here, because I do not know what I'm doing wrong, honestly. All right, let's see. We're just going to ignore all that. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, so. Here we go. Okay, so. Let's start off. I guess, uh, fish will catch trout either, so need trout or salmon to catch a salmon. Uh, rainbow trout. Okay, so I just need to keep using the earthworm because that will get me the salmon and the trout. Okay, I see. Okay, so use the progress rod with the earthworm. Okay, caught a trout. I can use that later. <clears throat> so yeah, just use... Ignore the river. 
Ignore the Pisces Heart and the River Bug. Just use the Progress Rod. Okay, good. So I'm leading now. All right, I've got to make the most of this opportunity. Now, which rod should I use? Use Progress Heart. Earthworm. Okay. Cast off. Okay, a rock eater. Huh, not bad, but I can do better. Ha! Ah. Come on, give me a salmon. At least I have a chance to get a uh, snake head. I'm in the lead now, but that could change. Oh god, it definitely changed. All right, fuck. Don't get cocky. All right. Which... Wait, am I out of earthworms? Really? Cast off. Oh, this one's a big one. What are my opponents doing? Oh, not bad. Okay. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Oh fuck! It's a big one. Come on, break it, break it, break it! Damn it! Okay. Oh fuck me. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I've lost this one again. Okay, so 326. Okay, so now he's clearly going to win, obviously. Because there's no way that he's not going to, like, pick up something with, like, an insane amount of size. Come on, break, 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 fuck! Why? Seriously, he keeps kicking my ass. What the fuck is. This is not fair! Try again. Okay. Okay, so use the progress rod. Earthworm. <sighs> okay, easy peasy. Ah, rock eater, damn it. What the hell? Okay, so he missed it. Rainbow Trout, damn it! It's clearly going to, like, clear the gap here in no time, honestly. Come on, lose, lose, fuck. Okay, fair enough. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Well, I've lost already. Wish I could just skip ahead. Fortunately, they won't let you fast forward the fucking fishing minigames. Okay, well, yeah. He, oh, no. He, he. Oh, no. It's not like he's going to p pick up something that, like, <laughs> completely fucking <laughs> destroys me in the last 
fucking around or anything, right? Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. No, oh, damn it. Yeah, no, I knew it. Okay, yeah, no, the game's cheating now, obviously. Yeah, look, oh, no, and I'm sure he's not gonna get that. Come on, come on, come on. Lose it, lose it, lose it. No, fuck! I can't win. I can't even win now. Why? He didn't even have anything to... Shit is what it is. Yeah, great. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at me. I already lost. Great. I don't fucking care. Move on. Ugh. This is irritating as fuck, and I hate it. <sighs> okay, we're trying this again. Oh, come on! Ah, God damn it! Ah, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Come on, let me out! Let me out of the fucking game! I don't care. Oh wow, 52. Yeah, that's great. Fucking hell, I don't care. Fucking hell, let me win! Oh my god, I hate this so much. Yeah, no, of course he wins. Oh no, wow, look at that. Seriously, having the ability to quit when you're, like, losing like this would be incredible, honestly. <clears throat> oh my god, I only lucked out, like, one time. Oh, okay, fair enough then. I only have my last round, though, but he's clearly going to destroy me here. Okay. All right. All right. So we're on round five. I've got a trout. Let's use the fucking trout. All right. Come on, come on, come on! No, 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 no! Come on! Yes! Okay, he's clearly going to catch something even bigger, and I'm going to lose, but... Come on, lose, 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 come on, lose! Ah, fuck. Wait, I win! Oh god, I won! Somehow. Woohoo, I won! So I lost. What a battle! You fought admirably, Estelle. There's no shame in losing against someone as talented as you. Here, I want you to have this. Estelle, Lloyd handed Estelle a silver-colored lure. A, a lure made from Argem? I couldn't possibly take this. It looks so expensive. No can do. Those are the rules. I challenge you to a duel while putting this on the line, and I was defeated. If you can refuse to accept it, that will bring me even greater shame than I already faced. So please, accept it. Well, if you really insist.
Thus Estelle accepted the silver lure from Lloyd. And though feeling bliss thanks to her victory, she was also blissfully unaware of what fate had in store for her. Receive fishing set. Receive 5,000 Mira. Continue to chapter 2. Let's leave the door for now and save first before we do that. Shall we? Yeah, that door clearly ain't done yet. You know, I actually kind of want to do some more fishing. <laughs> I kind of want to knock this out tonight, honestly. Screw the star doors, honestly. I can get to those another time. They're much shorter, so it doesn't matter. It won't take me as long. Okay, so we're going to start from chapter two. So, let's see. So, I need to look at the... Chapter two in the capital. Oh, her. I know her. Today was yet another day in which Estelle found herself roaming the north block of Grand Soul City sewers. Her objective was simple, defeat a wanted monster for the guild. But down there she found more than just monsters. In addition to the nasties she'd be ac been accustomed to braining on a regular basis, she also came face to face with a young noblewoman whose delicate demeanor couldn't have looked more out of place. Estelle certainly hadn't expected this. Well, what are you doing down here? She, a she asked. The woman tittered and responded as if the answer were the most obvious thing in the world. What else? Fishing, of course. The noble woman's name was Norch, and as it turned out, she was a member of the Fisherman's Guild. D do you really have to fish here of all places, though? I mean, what if monsters find you? Estelle made her up her mind to try and escort the woman back to the city with her. But Norch had other ideas, and she refused to budge from what she felt was a prime fishing spot. The two were soon locked in a battle of pure stubbornness. Neither would simply back down gracefully, as it wasn't in their natures. It was in the middle of the heat of a heated argument when a, the silver lure a cell kept on her person fell off from her pocket. Goodness, is that this famous silver lure? One of the three famed fishing tackles? Where in Adios names did you obtain such a thing? I don't want any... I don't know anything about any famous fishing tackles, but I guess you mean this guy here? I want it from Lloyd. Uh, so you fought an angler's duel against him, did you? I'd intended to challenge him to one myself when the time was right, but I never imagined he would be defeated before then. Okay, I am so lost right now. Very well. I shall challenge you to a ten-round angler's duel in this place. To ten rounds? Listen, lady. I will not accept no for an answer. Let us begin. But wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, are we going to get another title screen? Oh my god! Now, which rod should I use? Okay, use the progress rod and earthworm. There. Easy peasy. Okay, tiger, rockfish. Uh, let's see. Wonder how my opponent's doing. Oh my, how impressive. I see I can't afford to let my guard down around you. Cast off! Oh, now do you see what I can really do? Carp, huh? Damn it. Don't get cocky, I'm just getting started. Now which rod should I use? Okay, so... Come on, give me a crab or a carp. Okay, crab. Oh, that's not good. Uh, 
Okay, another carp. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Yes! Okay, a carp. Oh, wow, okay, that caught me up big time, actually. Oh my, how impressive. I can't afford to take a risk with you, or whatever. Awesome! Okay, good. We gotta make the most of this opportunity. You're right, Estelle, we gotta make the mo Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, uh... Okay, use the bamboo fishing rod with the dumplings to get some more carp. Okay, ah, crap, a libral carp. <coughs> That's actually worthless. <laughs> Yes! Okay, good. Another mistake from her. That's helpful. Okay, got another carp. Good. <clears throat> okay. sure that she's going to... Yep, she's about to make up the headway, I can tell. Okay, maybe not, but... Don't get cocky, I'm just getting started. Okay, let's see. Okay, oh, we still got dumplings left. Okay, cool. Well, let's keep using those then. Use them while we got them, I guess. Come on, give me another carp. Give me another carp. Okay, good. Another carp. Great. Okay, we're gonna use a crab next, I think, unless... Okay, no, come on, no, ah, crap. Okay, cool, all right, so she's catching up to me. That's not good. Okay, use the crab. Carp. Okay, <clears throat> carp's fine. Come on, miss, 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 miss. Come on. Yeah, okay, yeah, come on, come on, come on, miss. Ah, fuck. Okay, that's gonna be a big one. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, that's not good. All right. Come on, 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 yes! Okay, oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm still losing, though, so... Come on, miss, 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 miss. Oh god, okay, that's not good. Okay, good. Okay, I've got a bit of a lead, but she could easily top that. This game loves fucking me over at the last possible second, so... Come on! Miss! 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 Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Ah, damn it. Okay, that's gonna be a big one. Oh! 
that's not really that big, actually. Okay, final round, and I got one last carp. Okay, come on, give me a big one. Come on, come on. Okay. <clears throat> she just needs to get one of those giant ass crabs again and I'm dead. But man, I do not want to lose this. 10 rounds is a serious time sink. No, come on, lose, lose, lose. Come on, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ah, she's got it. Okay, what has she got? Oh, thank God I won. Whew, that was close. How could this have happened? How could I, of all people, be defeated? Well, you satisfied now? If you are, it's time you came back with me to the city. Trust me, it's not safe down here. You were truly more worried about me than winning the duel, weren't you? <laughs> no wonder I couldn't defeat you. Now, if you will, kindly accept this. Estelle received a goldenrod from Norch. Wow, it's so shiny! Are you sure I can have this? In fact, I insist. I'd be more troubled if you didn't accept it. These are the laws behind English duels, as you know. Still, kindly remember that you have more to fear than just me. No getting complacent simply because I fell in battle. And there's still our guild's leader to defeat, after all. Ah, oh, man, is he really that good? Indeed. His name is Mr. Fisher, and he is both this guild's founder and its most capable member. Knowing that may incline you to avoid facing him, but don't think you will be so lucky. With the two tackles you now possess, he will come for you. A duel with him is nigh, whether you desire it or not. Alrighty then, if you say so. At this point, Estella still had no idea just how capable this Fisher may prove to be. And while there was still and while there was a small part of her that couldn't help but regret biting the lure of the fisherman's guild, there was a much greater part that couldn't deny wanting to see where this journey would take her. Received plate of excellence and 5,000 Mira. Can you continue to shift it? We're, we're going to just leave the door for the time being. Let's count these out now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, wait, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. How many do I need to get for that? Only, only when you have 20 kinds of food committed to memory. Alright, I want to try to do uh, the third one, honestly, now. I, I, ju I just want to finish this up at this point, just because it seems too cool to not want to try, you know? Final chapter. Alright, so this is going to be a 15 round duel. Final chapter. Battle at Azalea Bay. Along the shore of off Gulf Seaside Way near Rouen, the decisive moment that Norge had foretold was finally to come. Whether their meeting was a coincidence or fate at all along, no one could possibly say. Estelle was idly walking along shore for no particularly adequate reason, when all of a sudden a single small yacht drew closer and closer. The yacht eased as close to the shore as it could safely get, and from on top of it stepped a fine man. He was a gentleman in a tuxedo, the sea extending into the distance behind him, making for an equally elegant backdrop. As soon as she saw him, she knew he was the leader Norch had spoken of. Had spoken. Mr. Fisher, bearer of the title Avid Angler, and known by the nickname of Fishing Baron. Huh! That lure! That rod! Are you the Fisherman Guild's president? I'm... 
No, there is no need for words now. I've been awaiting this moment for longer than you can possibly imagine. I challenge you to a 15 round angler's duel, immediately. 15? We're gonna be here all day, aren't we? Let the battle begin. Well, at least, you know, we didn't have to deal with that much back. This is it. <laughs> This is it, indeed. Um, okay, so let's see, so... Hmm. Now, which rod should I use? Okay, use the Marine Star with the Shrimplet. Cast off. Oh, come on! I wonder how my opponent's doing. Well, he's probably... Ha ha ha! Now's my chance! Ha! Okay, well, I'm boned. I would expect nothing... Casago, huh? Alright. Ah, crap. I also got a Casa Go. Hmm, I see my foe is quite capable. Come on. Okay, he's clearly going to get it. Ah, damn it. Oof, Claudine, huh? Give me a sea bass. Oh, come on! Okay, I'm toast. What what keeps happening here? Why is my timing off all of a sudden? It's been perfect so far. What the fuck? Is it the Marine Star? Oh god, this is humiliating. Okay, well hey, I'm I'm humiliated too. Don't don't feel bad, man. I feel bad too. keep happening okay next time I'm just gonna use the progress rod I guess I think the marine star is fucking with me oh okay cool all right shrimp it there's like no way I can win by the way okay come on come on give me something good Great blackfish, huh? Okay, well. Yeah, he's clearly got something. I would expect. See, ah, oh, man, he got the sea bass. That's what I'm going for. Damn it. Give me something I can use! Ah, another great blackfish! Damn it, I think I am fucked. <clears throat> yeah, okay, he's got a big one. He's got a real big one. He's gonna. Come on, he's clearly going to make it. Yeah, no, okay, fine, whatever. 
Four hundred. Oh yeah, blue marl. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah, I'm just getting started. We're just getting fucked, Estelle. Let's be honest here. We're doomed. Oh my god, stop giving me blackfish! Okay, so he's clearly going to... Okay, yeah. yeah we're just getting... So we're just fucking finished is more like it. Estelle. We're doomed. All right, come on. Okay, good. Casago, maybe I have a chance here. I doubt it. I'm kind of, like, way behind right now, so I don't think I can do anything. Okay, he's clearly going to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, God, he got another sea bass. Well, great. Okay, well, fine then. God damn it, why? Why does this not work? God, what is with the fucking timing here? All right. Okay, well, I'm clearly not going to win. Like, th this is obvious. <sighs> Great blackfish. Don't get cocky. I'm just getting started. Getting started with what? All right. Let's try to learn how to use this rod then. Because I'm clearly jumping the gun here or something. Okay. Yeah, my foe is quite capable. I, I, you're mocking me. Okay, I see. So sometimes it just doesn't make the sound. That's why I, I'm going by visual cues and not audio cues. That's my problem, apparently. Oh, come on! Okay. Not even the audio cues are right. Yeah, all right. Why am I even bothering at this point?
Oh my god. I, I lost! <laughs> I knew I was the strongest angler of all, but you are welcome to challenge me again whenever you see fit. I welcome all attempts to claim my title. And try again, I guess. Okay, got a casa go. Okay, fair enough. Plotting, damn it. I wanted the sea bass so I could use that to catch an even bigger fish. Ugh, damn it, okay. Okay, I'm leading right now, but he's just going to cheat in the end, so... Okay, what do we got? Ah, uh, great blackfish. Damn it. Come on, lose it, lose it. Ah, I got it. It's gonna be a big one, too. I can tell. Oh. We're tied? Wow, that's crazy. Another great blackfish, damn it. Okay, leading right now, but he's got ten more rounds to catch up, so. got okay Casago good all right come on lose this one <sighs> okay good Damn it! Fuck! <sighs> okay, and he has more than caught up. Great.
Come on, come on. Another great blackfish, great. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Lose it, lose it, lose it. Lose it, lose it. Ah, he's got it. It's going to be a big one. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. All right, so I can't win now. Great. Come on, come on. There's something good here. Okay, Casago. Again, all right. Uh, come on, lose it, 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 lose it. Now he's got it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Okay. Come on, give me a sea bass. God fucking damn it! Finally! Okay, sea bass. I may be able to come back from this. Unless he gets another big catch, which is entirely possible. And in fact, probable. Yeah, come on. Ah, it's gonna be big and he's gonna get it. Yep, there it goes. Okay, what's it gonna be? Okay, 92. Alright. Come on, yes, yes, come on, come on, come on, yes! Okay, not enough to catch up completely, but I'm at least making headway. Just give me another fucking sea bass, okay? Okay, come on, be a tiny one, or lose it, I don't care which. Either is fine. Okay... Okay, good, another sea bass. Okay, I may be able to pull this off, but only if he keeps fucking up. Yes, okay, good. Yes, let's make the most of this opportunity, Estelle. Let's do it. Come on, come on, be a big one. Be a big one! Come on! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! No! No! Come on! I was doing everything right! Ah, damn it. Okay, I lost. There's no chance. I have no chance to win this now. Oh, and he's got a big one, too. Oh, and he's gonna get it, too. Great. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, fine. Fuck this. All right. Zero chance here, but let's try anyway. Okay, what do we got? Okay, sea bass, good. Okay, if he just lo loses these next two, I can win. But he's not going to, is he? Yeah, okay, wait, he lost that one. Okay. Final round. Okay, come on, we gotta make this count. Get a big one, Estelle, get a big one. Come 
on. Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. If he fucks up, or if he gets a tiny fish, I win. But I don't think that's going to happen. He's probably going to make a come from behind victory. I'm sure of it. Okay. Yeah. He's got a big. He's got a bite. Okay. It's a big one. Come on. Lose it. Now he's got it. Please. Son of a bitch! God, I was so close. God damn it. Okay. I really want to win this now because. Give me a sea bass. Okay. Alright. Okay, he's got a small one. Good. Alright. Come on, I just want a Casago or a sea bass. Come on. Okay, what do you got? Uh, another blackfish, huh? All right. Not what I'm going for, but fine. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, good. Got a Casago this time. Okay. Let's try to get a sea bass this time. Come on, lose it. Okay. Okay, another Casago for him, huh? All right. Give me a sea bass. Okay, good. Got a sea bass. Going to hold on to this for later, though, because he's probably going to fuck me with something. Oh, come on. Lose it. Okay, it's going to be small. Great blackfish. Okay, cool. All right. Another great blackfish. I'm just trying to get my hands on another Casago, honestly. Okay, good. He lost that. Ooh, okay, two sea basses. Good. Good, we skipped a step. That's fine by me. Okay, so this is going to be a big one. Okay, he's almost made up his shortfall. Okay, what do we got? Oh, yes! Fucking blue marlin. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, no. He's probably got a big one. Yep, that's a big one. Okay. Let's see how big it is. He's going to catch... Oh! What the fuck?!
Okay, another sea bass. Good. Okay, come on. Uh, right. Okay, Casago. Good. I'm gonna use another sea bass. Come on, get me another blue marlin, a big one. Yeah, all right. Okay, that's that works too, I guess. No, okay, all right, all right, small fish. Okay, good. Another tiny casa go. Okay, good. Another sea bass. <coughs> okay. Come on, wap 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 wap. Okay, now he's got one. Okay, and. Okay, another small one. Okay, good. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Estelle, you can- Ah, damn it! Okay. Damn it, okay. Come on. Yes! Good. All right, come on, give me one more sea bass. Okay, good, another sea bass, all right. So I can do big ones on my last round. Lose, lose, uh, come on, nope. Okay, good, tiny, good, all right, cool. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, okay, all right. He can still win this, but I'm in a good spot right now. I might be able to take care of this. Okay, I think I've got this in the bag, but you never know, honestly. So let's do this thing. Come on, come on. You can do it, Estelle. Come on, you can do it. Ah, damn it. Okay, all right. Well, I think I've won this anyway. He can't possibly catch a 600-pound fish. Or 600-point fish, or whatever. The highest they go up to is like 400. Come on. Yeah, okay. Do it. Ha! I win! Fucking finally. I did it. Unbelievable. I had no idea you would prove to be quite so skilled. Clearly the time for adults to be leading the way has passed. I ask that you accept this. Fisher handed over a rainbow-colored fishing line. Wow, this is so pretty. Thank you very much. I can hardly believe the time has finally come for the three famed fishing tackles to be gathered in the hands of one owner. You said your name was Estelle, yes? Y yeah I did, but... Hmm. I've made up my mind. Starting today, you will be the new leader of the Fisherman's Guild. What? What? 
As for me, I suppose I'll assume the title of honorary president from this day forward. This is the time for young people like you to take the center stage. I hope you will dedicate yourself as best as you can to spreading and furthering fishing culture. Uh, hold on! You can't just shove that kind of responsibility on someone. I'm not going to be the leader. After roughly an hour of continuous negotiations in which neither of them wished to back down, Estelle was able to convince Mr. Fisher that the burden of being leader was too great for her, and she was granted an honorary membership in the guild instead. But while Estelle's duels were over, news of what had happened spread like wildfire among fishermen, spawning legends that would persist much longer. Henceforth, whenever they spoke of Estelle, they spoke of her with a new nickname. A fitting nickname for one who had triumphed in such challenging angler's duels. Estelle the Supreme Fisher. Side story, legendary angler Estelle finished. Receive Fisherman's Emblem and 5,000 Mira. Okay, we're just going to equip that to Estelle, because that's an Estelle item. Increases attack range, huh? Alright, cool. Okay, I want to try one last thing before we call it a night. There's one other that has that has eluded me, as it were. Bring to me the fist of steel, which nothing in this world can move. Only then shall I the Oh wait, Dadoi, I forgot to do something. All right, let's go back to Hermit's Garden. Okay, so we're just going to overwrite that save real quick. Oh wait, Dedoy, I forgot to... Alright, so... Item drop rates, battle EP recovery, uh, speed, uh, dexterity... I want to tech up, honestly. Item rates... Uh, Speed, defense, strength, dexterity, agility is down, though. Okay, we'll go with you as our support, then. I want to see how this turns out. I want to see if I can actually, like, fucking win this or something. I wonder if I actually drew those title screens, or if, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother watching any of this stuff because we already did this again.
Oh crap. Ooh, Supreme Composure. Nice. Okay. Well, wait, I guess I should read off. Okay, keep them. In the blue corner, we are led by Sister Reese Argent. Reese Argent of the Suppian Church's Grells Return. Oh crap. I used it on the wrong character. Oh no.
crap. No oh, crap.
And good riddance. Woo! Fool's emblem, huh? The match is decided! The winner is Sister Ree's team! They've done it! Sister Ree's team has conquered the normal arena! Congratulations on your victory! That was quite a show of skill! Your matches were a joy to watch! These are but a small token of my appreciation for making this such a fine tournament! Receive physical. Receive 5,000. You've now earned the right to challenge the hard arena. You'll still need to find an invitation in order to do so, however. Should you find one, please do come back here. Side story of the arena finished. Hooray, we did it. It's now possible to take on the hard arena. Entering the door with the required item will allow you to challenge for it. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Well, either way, um... Let's go back to base. I wonder what physical does. Alright, let's see. Physical. Receive less physical damage, but more magic damage. Oh, so it's like a... Defense thing, huh? All right. Okay, and I think here is where we're going to call it quits. <clears throat> so until next time, this has been Professor Icepick with Back the Log Off. See you next time.